Hi and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today, we're reviewing one of the most exclusive G-Shock releases of 2019, the GMW B5000 TCM, which is the latest evolution of materials used for the legendary square. It all started in 2015, when Casio decided to create the ultimate square G-Shock made out of the ultimate material, which is gold. The resulting watch was a one-off piece made of solid gold that was never offered for sale, although some sources say the cost of production alone was around $100,000. The watch looked stunning, and the fans were on fire, demanding a regular stainless steel version of that watch. About three years later, Casio delivered by issuing both a regular stainless steel model and the gold-plated version that resembled the original solid gold piece quite a lot. And then, in 2019, they even made 35 solid gold pieces that were offered in selected countries for a price of a staggering $70,000. All three variants, the one-off gold, the limited edition gold, and the steel version had different modules and different capabilities, with the steel models having the most advanced one, as they have Bluetooth connectivity and the more readable STN display added on top of the regular solar atomic technology. I actually did a review of that stainless steel model, and you can watch it by clicking here. I also did a detailed tutorial on the functions of that module, so in case you want to know in detail how to operate this thing, since it uses the same module, you can click here to watch it. Although I like the steel squares, there is something about them that just doesn't sit with me when it comes to being a daily watch. They're polished way too much, making them too blingy for my taste, and also making them very, very prone to scratches. I was clearly not alone in feeling that way, which is why for 2019, Casio released two new versions of the all-metal square. This, which is the GMW B5000 TCM, and another variant called the GMW B5000 TB. Both these models are another evolution of the materials used. The original was made out of gold the second generation out of steel, and this latest one is made entirely out of titanium, with this variant having this cool laser-applied camouflage pattern, while the TB variant comes with matte black finish. Since titanium is also prone to scratches, both watches have DLC or diamond-like coating on the titanium to make it more scratch-resistant. The result of the use of titanium is a significant difference in weight, which makes this 57 grams lighter than the steel version, and almost three times lighter than the solid gold piece that weighs an astonishing 300 grams. This reduced weight results in improved shock resistance, as lower mass equals lower forces affecting the watch during impact, but more importantly, a more comfortable wear especially given the warm feel titanium gives you when you touch it, unlike the cold feel that steel gives you. There is a bad side to this lack of mass and warmth, and it is that, to some, it might create a feeling of cheapness and plastic, especially on the bracelet. These links feel just like those found on the composite bracelets used by many G-Shocks. The difference, however, is noticed when you observe it up close, as this doesn't have the mold lines and is much better finished. But even if we ignore all the things I just said, this is still an improvement over the steel model for one single reason. The way it looks. Steel versions are cool to look at, but somehow border with being iced up watches, while this, and especially the matte black titanium version, looks more tactical and more like a G-Shock. For some reason, Casio decided to make the bezel polished while the bracelet is all brushed. It does give the bezel more presence, but if I could choose, I would rather have Casio do the whole watch in a matte finish, as the bracelet looks cool in this camo color and with this finish. It almost looks like armor plates a predator might use. I just love it. Now, the links are held together with pins while the bracelet is attached to the case using a huge rod screw. The clasp is machined, as you would expect at this price, and also made of titanium. 
To finish off the package, Casio used the Sapphire Crystal and the latest generation of their modules, which makes this a part of the latest generation of G-Shock connected lineup. When it comes to the face of the watch, not only do I like the STN display, but also love how they implemented the legendary brick pattern. It is printed on the inside of the crystal, making it hover above the solar panel underneath, creating this cool shadow effect. The contrast and the already mentioned STN display make this one of the best negative displays out there. But if you, like me, prefer a positive one, the TB variant I mentioned earlier comes with that. With the price of $1600, this model is expensive. It is double the amount of the steel models. When asked about the high price, Casio explained they had to create completely new molds for titanium, as the ones used for steel models wouldn't work. They also made a completely new production line for these, resulting in a higher price. What that also means is that Casio obviously plans on expanding the titanium models, which hopefully will bring the prices down a bit and closer to their steel brothers. Until that happens, this is as close as I will get to wearing one of these. Well, that's it for this video, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and until the next video, bye.